Well, good morning, boys and girls and Pot Spring families. I just wanted to first say I hope you're all doing well and I miss you all very much. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. <laughs> um, but I have something that you can do at home. A friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, Mr. Bob Maloney, who actually lives in our Pot Spring community on Gerwood with his family, um, reached out to me yesterday and asked if our school would be interested in, in um, taking on a project that his son uh, has an idea for. And so I'm gonna read you the letter that his son Ryan wrote, um, and it'll make more sense once I do that. It says, my name is Ryan Maloney, and my best friend, project co-leader, is Colin Pryor. We thought it would be a great idea to reach out and give thanks to the many people who are providing medical care to the people affected by COVID-19. We have each written our own letter to an anonymous doctor and nurse at Johns Hopkins Hospital. My dad works for Hopkins Medicine and he delivers the letters. We now think if others were willing to help, that would get many letters of thanks and motivation for the healthcare providers to stay in the fight against COVID-19. What a great idea, right? It says, Colin and I will be building a team with our friends and help us teachers, administrators, and adults associated with local schools to ask other youth to write letters to said health care providers. We believe that as citizens of this country, we should show our gratitude to the unsung heroes of this crisis, and we need help to do so. And that's where you come in. It says the letters are from the heart, and the messages, of course, are varied. The only standard should be this, dear health care provider, Participants are encouraged to provide an email address in their letter, with your parents' permission, of course, so that in the event the healthcare provider wants to show their gratitude in response, that they are able to. But that's not required, it's, it's optional. So let's do this and let our nurses, doctors, technicians, environmental service workers, nutrition providers, dialysis providers, patient transport, social workers, etc. Here a big thank you and please keep going because now more than ever we need our heroes to do what they do every day thank you in advance for your help and we hope all is well during these uncertain times and then he provides the address to send it to right here which i'm actually going to be sending to all of your teachers so your parents will be getting the email but here it is just in case you need it and then it says, if there are any problems regarding the address or any questions, please call me at, and his phone number is 410-805-4261. And he says, P.S. Hopkins will distribute the letters to other hospitals and healthcare facilities as well. And I also want to say, we know we have many parents out there who are on the front lines, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you're doing. Boys and girls, they miss you. Be well, and have fun writing these letters that I know you'll do a great job with and they will be much appreciated. Take care.